enter press a and uh, control press the frame here then right here press control p and select object cube transform now if we move our frame this this part everything will move together select this part press n and uh, here put all these values to zero and our <coughs> model will be transformed to the zero 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 coordinates now our model is in the center we can give it a little bit height by increasing the z value and uh, we will start working with it now before starting we have to um, delete the parent child relation we have made so select these um, items come down here and press alt v and select clear and keep transformation the second option now all the items that are independent of each other select this one and scale it a little bit in the x direction maybe something like this move it a little bit like this okay and hide this one then select the this part the wheel me wheel or chain and then press tab go to the edit mode turn on the extra mode select these parts press x delete them and then come back to the object mode select this one press tab select these press delete vertices select this one press p and uh, make selection now we have two separate parts and uh, this one and this one they are separate one press this one these are also two part this one so select this one delete it delete vertices okay now press this one and also hide uh, this one first of all move it a little bit outward we will adjust it later and uh, hide it turn up the extra mode now we will play along with these uh, two parts so select this one also move it a little bit uh, something like uh, yeah adjust it like this and also set their origin to the geometry press this one and also set this one origin to the geometry place this one set origin to geometry select this one shift select this scale them a little bit outward shift uh, uh, G and then move it a little bit to the center now we will apply some physics properties go to the select this belt and go to the physics properties apply cloth then select this uh, wheel or gear and uh, apply collision also select this one apply collision and let's play it and we can see that the cloth affects it's working but there is a lot of bending we will reduce the bending by selecting this cloth and going down here by increasing this tension value let's give it a value of 1000 and let's check it again also um, to avoid compression of the belt let's give it a value of 500 and uh, as you can see now the bending is quite reduced pause it here somewhere like this go to the modifier tab and apply this modifier uh, go again to the physics tab apply cloth and uh, move to the first frame and here again give the same values you can play along with these values give it this value around about 500 let's play it and we can see that our cloth is working we can change the mass to further reduce the bending okay also we can increase the quality 
steps to increase the simulation cloth simulation quality okay now it's time to add some motion select this uh, gear and press n come down here press uh, this y value and insert single key frame go to the last frame and uh, here rotate this and give it a value like 1000 something like 1000 right click insert single key frame select this one come to the first frame and insert single key frame same go to the last frame uh, give this a value of 1000 and insert a single key frame again now let's check it we can see both of them they are rotating they're rotating a little bit slowly and slowly we can increase the speed by increasing the final angle then it will rotate uh, more fastly so we can see that it's rotating quite well now we can unhide the part we hired earlier we will adjust their position okay also unhired this one and uh, here we can see this one is a little bit bigger so we can move these out a little bit also select this one press g move it out a little bit yeah and also move it a little bit this one in the z direction okay we will now mirror all these entities on this side to the other side press any one of them go to the modifier tab and insert a mirror modifier we will modify it by, along this far so select this one by picking this one and uh, mirror it along the z-axis similarly select the other parts select this one go to the mirror modifier mirror it along the z-direction about this part then select this one again do mirroring for all these parts in this way so okay select this one and uh, again mirror along the z-axis select this one and now it's mirrored so um, now if we play the simul the animation we can see it's rotating now let's add a flame um, it will be like a ground for this vehicle so press shift a and uh, mesh insert a flame scale it off scale it further scale 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 it you can scale it as much as you want sometimes this will happen to you so for this press n and go to the view and increase this value i will put it something a value like 3000 and then you can see it again this uh, g move it a little bit like here okay now we have to add some motion so for that i will select uh, frame shift gear gear one locks and all those things except the uh, except the plane okay so for this and then coming down here press ctrl 3 and make the transformation now if i move the frame 
all the vehicle will move together so at the initial stage press i and um, insert location keyframe go to the last frame and uh, move it along the x-axis somewhere here and uh, press i again insert location now if we play this again we can see that the vehicle it's moving in this direction slowly and slowly now it's time to add camera so per camera go to the starting point press shift a insert camera and uh, select this frame press ctrl r0 it will focus the camera on this part and now it's time to add some keyframes for the camera select the camera press i and um, press i and uh, insert a keyframe location rotation also select the camera then select the frame and uh, press ctrl v and object keep transform now the camera will move along is the, the the car as it moves so now we can add different keyframes and the camera will move accordingly for example at this point i want the camera to zoom out a little bit so press n click this view and check these two values press n to hide this and now we can zoom in and out and rotate all these things uh, inside the camera view so just rotate a little bit like this press i and select the rotation so now if you play it again you can see that our camera will move something like this in this direction Let's insert some more keyframes. At this point, I want it to be I want the camera to be here press i insert location and rotation and then let's check it again from the start so you can see our camera is moving accordingly to our keyframes we can add few more, more keyframes and we are almost done so let's suppose at this point pause it and uh, I want my camera to come down here and you can press the shift and this the little key nearby the one I don't know its name and then you can move the camera with your mouse or you can use the keys keyboard keys A S W to move your camera view I will just use the mouse and uh, yeah i just wanted to be zoom it like this press i then at the end i want the camera to zoom out again and look at this 
car from behind so at this point for example I want, my, I want my camera to come to this location so again select the camera press uh, I location and now if we check the simulation we can see there the camera is moving along the key frames and the uh, uh, car at vehicle is rotating uh, as we design it so that's how easily we can make the simulation by using the cloth properties and we can make this built like uh, animation inside blender if you want to know more about this uh, belt so you can check out my previous video and you can easily learn how you can make a uh, animation like this so you can also add some material by going to the blender kit here um, I also mentioned that in the previous video and uh, if you want to render it out so just click uh, add materials and set the camera as you want and then you can render it out here by clicking render and render animation also you have to set the output properties from here but for this video, video I just want to show you how you we can make a simple animation using that uh, built um, technique. So that's all um, for this video. See you in next video. Please uh, like and comment. Give me suggestions. See you in next video. Bye bye.